in defence. Rojo comes in for Fazio. The big team news, of course, I'm sure you've heard, but sadly there is no Lionel Messi tonight. They're giving him extra preparation time, which means he has missed both of these top-class friendly games. Part of the plan tonight is to build the back line with Otamendi, Rojo and Romero. Familiar faces all around. So who's who? Starting off with back fours tonight and, uh, well, they both stick true to their traditions of playing football and good football room for a good match tonight. Otherwise, Iniesta, who tends to give around 60 minutes, will be orchestrating things. And the way you don't get any more high profile than Spain. Anthony Taylor gets in the way. And a, and a character challenge from Andres Iniesta on Giovanni Celso. Well, quick start from Spain, though, on the front foot straight away. The Alba is on site. Now Asensio. It's maybe the only addition or addition tonight. Here's Higuain, and he was clipped on his travels. Well, is, uh, even in the Premier League with Guardiola, really interesting to see how high that line is held, and they just drop off at the last moment. Ball is dinked in there between up the pitch. Ramos has decided to. PK and Ramos have been stretched. A great ball in. Oh, and Higuain and the goal gaping. Oh, Higuain should score here. This is just a, a side foot volley. Great breakaway on the left. Fizzed in. Oh, there is Costa playing the old fashioned centre forward. Asensio caught him. Possession. The hunger that he's got as well gives it to Asensio. Chance for Costa. Bravery pays off. There is pain, but there's also gain. Just got there before Romero, but gets clattered on the shin for his troubles. But he won't mind that when he sees the, sees the ball wrestling in the back of the net. Romero's injured as well, but concerned for the centre forward, also concerned for the goalkeeper. They both threw themselves at it. It's all about losing possession, then gaining it back as quickly as possible. Look, a couple of ricochets just forces his way to Costa, and unlike Higuain at the other end, he finishes, and there's the collision left leg trailing into the keeper so that's the left shin is injured and the keeper as well shin on shin or knee on shin that is really a painful one there okay. Sergio Romero the Manchester United backup goalkeeper he's back on his feet as well a little flick in Costa can't get there Mascherano wins the ball oh, wow, to... Talia Fica and a strong challenge from PK on the youngster Maxi Meza. Argentina into the near post. There's a little flick on it. Cut out by Alba. Let's go. It's a meeting with Diego Costa. Yeah, painful one. One player can run it off Diego Costa, but Romero can't. Some collision as well. Knee on knee or shin on chin there. It was really hard. Receiving treatment. You can see the game has just started to lose that frantic pace that it had in the first 15 minutes. His debut comes to beat PK. Great ball through. Oh, and that would have been a wonderful goal. He's got the impossible job tonight, Meza, of replacing Messi. And he's doing a pretty good impression. Well, a low centre of gravity. He's really got a lovely chance. Sensi again. You know, he prefers to get on his left foot. Great ball in there. Oh, and Alba came in after the fine little flick. Great run from Asensio down that right-hand side. He really lost Mascherano for pace, who ended up on his backside. All resulted in this from Asensio. Beats one, draws inside. And kicked by Caballero. Asensio rolls it in. It's gone! A severe punishment for sloppy defending from Argentina. Oh, sloppiness again, but they make the play, aren't they? Asensio and Isco combining, and Isco finishing brilliantly, just passing it into the back of the net. But again, his football at breakneck speed, and it's really hard to stop, isn't it, when it's that quick and that incisive. Again, it was a nick of the ball. You mustn't forget that Argentina had two cracking chances as well, Rob, didn't they? Did that to the ball? Chalafika lays it back. Meza with 
What a lazy shot, it's almost as if they lose their heads when they reach the 18-yard box. It's it's up here, if he can make the right pass. De Celso, fanciful little flick. Well, he scored one goal this season for Barry Saint-Germain and it was a move like that where... He's hoisted it. Oh, what great header! Brilliant goal! And of all people, it's Nicolas Otamendi who emerges from the crowd to bring Argentina back into the game. Well, you said it'd be around the 39th minute and it has done, but it's gone the other way. Great climb from Otamendi, he's got this in his locker, hasn't he? Look, he's not the tallest Otamendi, he's got great spring. An attacking diamond. The mouse, the mouse escapes. They can't catch him. Eventually they set a trap. Untouched too many, just come back on that right foot. Maybe he could have just fired in a left footer when he, he's wormed his way past two defenders here. Los Celso, good ball in Carver, how loses that? Seconds of the first half of tripping away. It's a Mendy with a diving header. He's got a vital header to bring Argentina. I imagine it was uh, too quiet in the Argentina changing room at half time. Sam Pauli reading the right act. Argentina kick off the second half. Manet. That was a, a badly timed challenge. Gotta be a precise chip to get it over a line like that, although they do retreat just as he gets to the ball there, go back that couple of yards. Banega looking for Tanya Fico. Well it was a well choreographed routine. Yeah. Aspas looks for support. Gets it. And a punishing finish from Esco. What a finish. Well, they have been cutting in front of God. Well, I thought Aspas had ruined it there with maybe a touch that didn't take it into his path. Found by a superb pass, though. And again, Argentina cut open, you can see. Messi. No, no, Messi, <laughs> not Lionel. <laughs> no wonder he never comes when he comes. His... Can he create a hat trick? Rolls it inside. Aspas, it's four to Spain. And Thiago joins the party. Well, it's this time it's Isco who cuts it back. And Thiago finishes again, not trying to knock the shell off the ball. And Jess Caballero's got no chance. Great start to the second half. He's not a happy man, Sam Pauli. And he shouldn't be easy either because they're being cut open easily. Again, it's too easy. Look, great little run. qualifying matches. And that's it. Well, Ramos has left his defensive duties and he is caught in full flow by Otomendi. He would like more than a free kick. Charles Ross is in the figure standings. This goal leaves it for Asensio. Where are the goals going to come from in this Argentina team? Look who they don't have out there. Messi, obviously. Aguero injured. Di Maria in this evening. Congested in front of the goalkeeper, has to go straight for goal and chorused from the terraces of the Atletico Madrid Stadium. Well, I'm sure the Alba getting involved. Aron looking for Martinez, pulled it back from Carvajal. With a cheer or boo at the moment. <laughs> from Villan to here. Oh, and that was a nasty challenge. Remember, he's only just been booked. Nicolas Taliafico. He's going to have a word with the fullback. He may well have a word with the coach and suggest that this is Meza. Oh, he gets the cross and it's a thumping cross as well. 
Carvajal's a bit in the wars at the moment. Just takes a little bit of a clump off a Meza. He just got one from Otamendi a little bit earlier. Nothing much, though. I think just a, rather a leaning on rather than a flaming elbow. But he said that's well to get his cross in here. But that's the opportunity to score in the first half. Here is Aspas. Well, they just turned the blind eye there. And now Iago Aspas scores a remarkable fifth goal for Spain. Oh, it's just a straight long ball and uh, oh, again. Route one football, Tony. <laughs> well, it's just that high line again that gets caught out so easily. Two central defenders had a bit of a nightmare this evening. Otamendi and Rojo, look how far they are apart. Look. The second of the match here, Aspas, he's created two, he's scored one. This guy's looking for his hat-trick. This guy is going to be taking the ball home. A great finish again from Isco. What, what are Argentina doing? Giving the ball away. Aspas again. This time the, neglecting the opportunity to, to have a shot. Sets up Isco. And again, it's just a one touch finish. All three goals, a one touch finish. They have been ripped apart by Spain, in particular by Isco. Alcohol. Gets the substitute. Oh, <laughs> Maybe Tiago's had his goal allocation for the evening. Well, stay behind afterwards, and this goal will show you. Vasquez. Asensio. Alba. Last ditch. Desperate tackle by Mercado. And uh, Alba not to follow their play as well. Just uh, lovely on the eye. There's one of the challenges I was talking about. Reza showing that he wants to put himself about as well as show that great skill and a little bit fortunate with another couple of challenges and of course when you give it away in deep positions it allows the opposition into you straight away so that's where they've got to learn the lessons tonight I believe high line on he does the wall is well built just nothing is working for him. Nice. wisely blown maybe a 